Hello everyone. Okay, so uh, last time we finished up with lists. Uh, so, so far we discussed uh, uh, numbers, uh, strings, lists, and today we are going to cover dictionaries. Okay, so um, uh, dictionaries, they are known as mappings in Python. So these are just other objects. They are a type of objects in Python, and they store. Uh, uh, they, they, they so they they store objects by key rather than uh, storing them by their position. So if you recall, like last time, for example, if I had a list L uh, with uh, you know with like say one two three four, and I needed to pick. Uh, just is just a quick review here. If I needed to uh, pick a, um, a, 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 a an item or or uh, or more than one item from list L, I would do it based on position. So I would slice it. So for example, if I needed like say the first or the second item in that list, I would do L one because again indexing in Python remember begins with zero. So this would output two for me, right? So this is based on position. Dictionaries instead, they store the objects by key, okay? So um, uh, there's no left to right order, like in lists, the order is left to right. In dictionaries, there's no left to right order. They map keys to values, okay? So dictionaries, very important. What they do is, let me write it here as a definition. They map keys to their values. To their values. Okay, so um, uh, they are also mutable, very important. So dictionaries are mutable. Uh, so by the way, anything in red there in, in those uh, quotations is not uh, read by the code, okay? Uh, so this is sort of like commenting, but it's just uh, another way. Uh, okay, um, and uh, as lists, the, we can also uh, change them in place they can be changed in place. That's, that's what mutable means. And uh, we can grow them, so we can add stuff to them, or we can shrink them. We can remove stuff out of them. Okay, so they're a flexible tool. Uh, they're uh, just like lists. They're flexible tools to uh, represent uh, collections. Okay, so, uh, okay, let's begin with some... Uh, Mapping operations. So usually the way you code dictionaries is you put them in curly braces, okay? And uh, you have them in terms of a series of key dot value, okay? A, a key column value. So you have key column value, okay? And usually you put them in braces like this, okay? So that's, uh, that's uh, how that works. So uh, they're very useful, like anytime, say, we need to associate... Uh, a set of values with keys, okay? So to describe properties of things and so on. So let's say you're trying to, uh, you know, associate like some um, some, uh, uh, some uh, company list of employees by their age or by their salary, right? So you can do like name, job, so on, and name with the name you can associate like their first name, their last name, and so on and so forth, right? So, um, so, uh, so you can, uh, so let, let's give an example on this. So let's say a dictionary would be, um, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, drink. Okay. Let me use strings. So you can have strings or, um, numbers in there. So let's say drink. Okay. And, uh, so this is the, uh, this is the key. Okay. So the first one is the key to the left of the column. And the value of the drink, let's say, uh, um, let's say, um, uh, uh, you know, water, for example, and um, uh, and uh, you know, let's say, so so this is the value for the drink. So water is the value for. So you go, they go, uh, key value, okay, key value, okay, and then uh, let's say we have, um, I don't know, color. Uh, let's use color. Okay. Uh, column red. So this is another one. Okay. So, uh, so this is an example of a dictionary. And uh, let's say I want to uh, 
uh, let's say I want to uh, to uh, to get like say uh, what the what the key value uh, for uh, water is okay. Um, um, Sorry here, my phone just distracted me for a second. Okay, so uh, I was saying we can index the dictionary by the key, okay, uh, to fetch and change the key's associated value, okay? So for example, if I need to uh, fetch the value of, uh, of the uh, key um, drink, okay, I would say D, Okay, and I would just like the list, but rather than using positions, uh, you know, not like one and zero and so on, I would use uh, the uh, the key. Okay, uh, so I would put the key here. So my key, let's say, is drink. Okay, uh, for the first one, and uh, it's gonna give me back the value. Okay, so it's gonna give me back water. So that's how I do it, and I can, you know, I can uh, add things. Um, uh, so uh, I could uh, I could uh, add, for example, um, um, uh, things to um, to to the dictionary, and I can remove things. Okay, so so usually, okay, so the way like it's 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 not common like to know your program's data, right? The whole dictionary. Is like you build those huge dictionaries made up of like you know pages and pages um, uh, uh, long, and uh, it's 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 not uh, it's not uh, uh, the case that uh, you will know the data beforehand before your program runs. So so let's say so uh, so the way you would you practically would do this is. Uh, especially like say you have a company and you have thousands and thousands of employees, right? You, you, can, you can start with a dictionary, you can start with an empty dictionary, right? And you fill it out one key at a time, depending on what you need, what, what you want that dictionary to contain, okay? Uh, so, um, 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 so for example, let's, let's take an example. I can create an, uh, an empty dictionary here, Okay, so this is, if I don't put anything in the uh, in the braces, it's an empty dictionary, and then I can you know I can start filling out the dictionary. So for example, let's say I have employees, and I can start saying, okay, D, okay, the value is let's say I I want the name of the employees, right? And then I could say equal let's say Joe, okay, so uh, Joe, so that would be uh, th this is creating keys by assignment, right? And uh, I can do another one, so I could uh, I could now do uh, another another value. So uh, I could say, uh, let's say I want the job too of the person. So uh, job or position or whatever, okay. And let's say uh, he's a, a engineer. So uh, engineer, for example, okay. And uh, maybe a date of birth or age or whatever. So uh, another another key, so age, let's say, and uh, let's say I say uh, tw 25. So since this is a number, I don't need the quotes, okay? And, uh, and now I created a dictionary with three values and three keys. And if I call out this dictionary, if I, you can see, I will get my dictionary, key value, key value, key value. Name, Joe, job, engineer, age 25 and I can keep adding like this so as so let's say this would be practical like as I'm bringing new people in suppose like I'm the human resources or something or I'm like the manager of a team as I'm you know bringing people in every day I could just add you know I would add categories about the employees and at the end of the day I would have I would have a database uh, in the form of a dictionary with all the with all the variables, all the aspects that I'm interested in, uh, you know, on, on these people. And, uh, and then uh, you say, if I, I can pull things, uh, like say, like I have, I'm, uh, one day I have thousand employees. I don't remember what I had in that dictionary, but I have, you know, I can pull through their names. So, you know, I can, I can, I can input the key of the name of the employee and I would know everything ab about him that I had stored in that dictionary. So that's the practical, you know, sense of, uh, of where that's used. 
um, and um, and um, you know, um, uh, um, you know uh, let's say here for example, again I can fetch out the value of a name, so I would do like name in this dictionary, right? And then it's gonna give me Joe. That's the name of the person I stored in my dictionary. Okay, um, so. Now, when you, when you call out dictionaries, like if I were to uh, print my dictionary again, um, sometimes you don't get it back in the same left to right order that you've actually had it at the very beginning. So it might be scrambled, right? Because those mappings, unlike lists, they're not positionally ordered, okay? So usually they will come back in, in, a, in a different value. And if that happens, you can always um, uh, you can always like uh, uh, you can always uh, get them back to the same order. There are ways where you can actually get them back to the same order. I will uh, I will get into uh, in the second video, and I will show you also the next video. We will stay on dictionary, and we will uh, also do nesting on dictionary, sort of the way we discussed nesting with lists. We will also discuss it with dictionaries. Okay. That's it for this video, uh, Dictionary 1. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, if you can and are able to support our, uh, 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 donate to us and support our efforts to maintain and keep this uh, education um, uh, uh, available for free for the public, please don't hesitate to donate to our email address. I will leave it in the description. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.